I was ready to delete this channel. I was going through like a whole like thing. And this time I don't want to call it a phase because I do have a lot of phases, but honestly, <sighs> okay. 2020 was a really bad year for me. 2020 and 2021. And it was just bad all over. And I feel like maybe when I started being more independent was when a lot of things started to happen. But it was a lot of things in my aspects of my life I was learning that I wasn't really prepared for. But I met someone who really changed my life. Like, he really changed how I see the world, how I see people, how to interact, how to be more of me. But it wasn't like a, a pressure thing. And, you know, I was like, I feel like every day is a chance of a transformation for yourself and for me, I don't like to stay the same. I don't like it, like I like to just keep going. And you know, it was a lot of stuff I was going through, like a lot, like I feel like sometimes my, my stories, I feel like I could, if I say it, I feel like I live like at least 40 years already. And, you know, like three weeks ago, something just like, you know, you just lose someone. And now Austin, I didn't even know how to deal with it. Like, it was just like a shock, like, and I'm still shocked. Like, sometimes I'm just like, I don't believe it. But um, I didn't really know how to really properly deal with that. Like the first day was, I, like I was out, like I, <laughs> and then there was a week where I was just angry, like at the whole world. Like, and I feel like I still have this anger in me that I always had since time. But I want to turn the anger into something beautiful and really show my art through something else, which is poetry. I do write. I shared it a few times on my channel. Not really. But I feel like that's something I really want to open up. Um... But I don't know, I'm, I'm, I was in the middle of a change, like a middle of changing myself and sorry. <laughs> and for that to happen, just like that, I, I can never be the same. And you know, when people say life is short, that was really the moment where it's like, yeah, life is really short. So for me, I just, now I'm just more living in the moment, more so than rushing. When I wake up, I wanna be, I'm gonna be honest, I, ha I still have a bad habit of going on my phone, but I really wanna wake up and be more like grateful and be like, yeah, I'm here and I'm living. You know, I'm here and this is what's going on. I want to absorb that more and absorb my moments with important people. And, you know, yeah, I told myself I'm going to be more of a spread love and all that. But it's hard to do that because, like, when you, when I'm, I'm very given, very loving, given. I feel like I don't really get it get it back the way I do give it out so it's kind of hard to continue that because it's like I feel like I'm draining my soul like I feel like my soul just kind of gets more mean 
you know, when I'm giving it, giving it, and it's like nothing back, and it's like, and that's when I was like, it's, it's just so strong to the point where I just, you know, but I'm trying to get rid of that and really live. <sighs> There's so much things he says to me that I will never forget, and I'm going to apply it and share that with everyone, and yeah, so it's hard, like, you know? And I, I, I can't go around being sad, but it's like, <sighs> I'll never, ever, like, forget him. And I'll never forget anything that's happened. And this is not a, someone you just meet and you just have sex and you just, oh, yeah, like, I love you. No, this was someone that was, like, really significant. Really was, like, how did I meet you? And why are you my life? You know, type of thing. It's, like, it's rare. When you meet someone rare and they're meant to be part of your life, there's something else. So... Yeah, I just wanted to come in here and say that I'm not talking properly because of these, but um, hopefully that gives a little, you know, insight and in what happened to me a little bit. You know, I look kind of dead, but <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next one.